Hey guys, it's the girl Miss Fluffy back with another video. Back with another video for you guys today. Guys, today I'll be making some Jamaican breakfast. Some Jamaican breakfast. I got Kalaloo on the menu. I got some fried dumpling on the menu. Y'all, Kalaloo and fried dumpling on a Sunday morning. You can't be that, okay? You can't be that. Anyways, you guys are new to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your post notification on. So you can be notified. You could be notified every time a girl uploads a new video. <laughs> Videos every week, for sure. Videos every week. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and tickety tickety talk. Everything will be <laughs> everything will be in the description down below, guys. In the description down below. Also, guys, make sure you guys watch all my ads. All watch the ads all the way through. Okay. Okay. And to all my new fluffies, welcome to the channel. Your girl appreciate you. Okay. And all these returning, you don't know, so you are number one. You are number one. Let's get into this delicious Jamaican Sunday breakfast. Alright right, guys, so the first thing you need to do is boil your codfish because this thing is salty. I have this uh, soaking overnight. Now I got it in my pot ready to bubble. I'm going to let it boil once, change the water, let it boil some more so I can get out most of the salt but not all the salt, okay? So I'm going to let it do its thing. I'm going to come back and put this kalaloo together. Together, baby. Lego. All right, guys. So this is pretty much what you're gonna need to make your flour. You gonna need all-purpose flour. If you got self-rising flour, you don't need your baking powder. But if you don't, you need some baking powder, some sugar, some salt, and I'm using whole milk. Or you can use water. And I'm not putting any butter in here because I'm going to fry it up and I don't need all that, all that, all that unnecessary stuff. So I'm using about one cup or a cup and a half of flour. I'm not making too much. Not too, too much. Okay. Let me zoom up in there. So. All up in it. I got my baking powder. Don't use no baking soda, okay? Just baking powder. Alright, you don't want to use too much, okay? And I'm going to go on with some sugar. I'll be off the see. Just to sweeten it up a little bit. The milk is also a little sweet. But not too, too sweet. Okay. And a pinch of salt. To balance everything out and mix this around. Y'all already know Sundays when you eat your big breakfast, your big up nice dinner. So I thought, what? Well, let me come on here and do a typical uh, Sunday Jamaican Sunday dinner. Okay, I'll make sure it's recording, girl. Woo, man! Last time, oh man, when I was making that mukbang video, I was so mad. I couldn't believe that thing wasn't even recording. I was like, oh my god. Oh my goodness. And this is about one cup of um milk. Just mix everything around. Mix it around town. Mix up, mix up. Y'all just add a little bit of milk at a time. You don't want to pour the whole thing in there. And then you ruin your dough. 
Also, make sure you have extra flour just in case. Just in case you mess up. You can go on with some more flour. I'm going to add a little more milk in here. It's a little bit more milk. It's a little bit more. Oh yeah. Let me know if y'all like drinking milk by itself. Some people, the only way they can uh, drink milk if it's in their cereal. But I don't mind. I like milk. Sprinkle a little bit more flour over here. Mix this together. Okay, make sure y'all can see. Woo! Beautiful! Get this milk out the way. Save that for later. There you have it, your little dough ball. You see, you don't want it to be too tight. This is perfect. Perfecto. So I'm gonna save this for about I'm gonna save this to the side for about 20 minutes. Cook up my collard green, all that good stuff. I'm also gonna take a piece of this and put it in the oil so I can like flavor up the oil a little bit in a sense. That's how you get your dumpling to come out just right. So I'm gonna put this over here and leave it alone. I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna get back with my kalaloo, okay? Yeah. Alright guys, so I got my temp on medium, got a little bit of oil up in this pot, and I'm going to add all the good up, good up veggies that I just cut up, I'm just adding them all up in here. So I got my tomatoes, my bell pepper, my green and red bell pepper, <laughs> and I got my onion over there. Guys, and here's my Kalaloo that I got from Publix in the international section. And I love that this one have an easy opening uh, thing on the top. Yeah, it's a Kalaloo. And this was like, mm, I'll probably say about $3. It wasn't expensive at all. I'm going to cut this up a little bit. And I'm going to add, ooh, if I could get over here. If I could get over here, I'm going to add some seasoning. Ooh. I'm going to season up my veggies. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of adobo. When I put my um, kalaloo in, I'm going to go with some black pepper 
and just a little bit more seasoning. And my salt fish, I'm just gonna break them apart just like that. Just use your finger and break them up, okay? Just break them up like that. So easy. I'm gonna let this cook for about a minute or so. Then I'm gonna add my color, my salt fish, and then my kalaloo. Then we're gonna knead up. We're gonna make the dumpling put it in the pot. I don't know if I should do my plantain. <laughs> Got this thing extra, extra ripe. I might fry it up or I might not. We'll see. But yeah. So come back. All right, guys. So it's been a minute or so. Let's take a look inside. Let's take a look inside. You see all the pretty, pretty color. All these colors is what you're looking for. So I'm gonna go with my salt fish. Throw them in there. I'm gonna break them up some more. Guys, you can get this um. At Walmart, Publix, honestly anywhere. They got these everywhere. Oh, mix that up. All right, so I'm gonna cover this back up, let it cook down. I'm gonna strain the water. I'm gonna strain the water on my collar loo. I'm gonna be back to put it in my pot. And then we're gonna go on to the dumpling. The dumpling, okay, that's the best part of any meal. If you don't have a good dumpling for, mm, for eat with your kalaloo or your akia soft fish, <sighs> you ain't got a good dish. So, so come back. All right, guys, so let's take a look inside again. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So now I'm going to go with my kalaloo. I remember growing up, I did not like Kalaloo. <laughs> Look too healthy. <laughs> you see, you get a lot for like $2, for like $3 or whatever. It's a lot of Kalaloo. And this is how you stretch your food, okay? You put all these bell pepper and all these good up veggies in there. You stretch your Kalaloo. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Creole seasoning in here. Just a little bit, you don't want it too salty. I'm gonna go with some black pepper. Since I didn't have any heat in here, this is gonna be my heat, my spice. It's a little bit of black pepper, yummy. So this is pretty much done. I'm just bringing, let the color loo heat up. I'm gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna fry my dumpling and then we're gonna plate it up. And then that's it. So I'll be back. Right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make these dumpling balls again. Oh man, I forgot to cover this. Anyways, just do like this. Ooh, still nice and soft. I ain't doing nothing special to this. I'm just rolling this just like that. I'm going to press the indentation right there. Well, maybe not too sticky. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I'm just going to roll it. Roll it. Roll it, girl. All right. Let me bring y'all over here to this uh, oil. All right, guys, remember I told y'all to so put a piece of flour in there to cook up, to flavor up the oil a little bit. So that's what I did right here. Ooh. That's what I did right here. Okay, 
Oh, let me turn my flashlight. All right, so here it is. That's going to go in the trash. Or you can eat it, whatever floats your boat. I see, I want this oil to be too, too hot. To... Hold on, let me add. I don't know if I should add a little bit more. In here. Hold on. I just add a little bit more oil in there to calm it down and calm it down. So I'm going to add some flour up in here. Ooh. I'm going to do four, okay? I'm just do four because they're going to swell up. I should have made these other two bigger. So in total, my uh, mixture, my uh, cup and a half of flour gave me six dumplings. So I'm going to cover these up. Put your temp on medium low, okay? Because you want your dumpling to cook nice and low and slow. So the dough could cook inside, okay? Not just the outside. Okay, inside too. So yeah. So come back. Jano. Guys, look at those dumplings. Look at them dumplings. They swell up and look beautiful. Yeah, these dumplings turned out amazing. Mix, I would recommend using milk, to be honest. I think milk does something to it. So skip from the water and use some milk. And don't make your dough so tight, okay? Like how mine was just soft and fluffy. <laughs> like a girl. Like, oh, yes, <laughs> that's how you should uh, make your dough. Make sure it's too soft, not too tight. Not too tight, not too tight, not too tight. But I'm ready to take these bad boys out. And then I'm gonna add my other two up in here. Then that will be it. I love this big one. I should have made them all big like this. That should look good. I mean, yeah, that looks good. Good up, good up, good up. Ooh. Beautiful. Guys, I think I'm going to leave out the plantain. I ain't got time for that. I might just use that to make a plantain and egg sandwich. If y'all never had that before, y'all need to try it. Just put it between two slices of bread with an egg on it. And that's it. Right, I'm going to take these out now. They look too good to leave up in here. Ooh, beautiful. Whoa. Yes, round and beautiful. Give y'all a close up because y'all didn't believe. Y'all couldn't see it real good in the pot. So here it is. Yes. Get your girl to come cook for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just add the last two. When I come back, I'm going to just plate it up, okay? I'm just show y'all how I do my plate up presentation. So, I'll be right back with a finished product. Everything I'm going to plate up on the good. All right, guys. So, I got my dumplings on the side. <laughs> I just put this other plate here because usually the kalalu have all this juice and then the... Um, the dumpling might get soft and soggy. We don't want that, okay? We don't want that. So I put another bowl right there, another plate to hold the kalalu. Ooh, man, this smells so good. Just right, just right. 
Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. And the dumplings turned out amazing. Ooh, see if I can pick this up. Ooh. I don't even have to pick it up. They can squeeze on that. See how soft that is? I'm going to take a thumbnail and I'm going to open this bad boy up for y'all. So come back. Oh wait, maybe I can just use this like that for my thumbnail. I can get a picture just like that. Yep. I'm going to open the big one for you guys. You see this on there? It's a squish on it. Ooh. All right, that's what you like. Still hot. Open this up. Whew. All right. Ooh. Ooh. See that? Soft. Soft, soft, soft. That's what you want. You don't want a toast dumpling. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Got my lemonade, my orange juice. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, share. Let me zoom out a little bit. Share and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye. Yo, I'm going to mess this up right now. Bye-bye. <laughs>